We'll be taking you along to see this site. It's an old temple which is 15 kilometers from Shanil Urfa and it's on top of a plateau. And this is the museum we are in. So this place is actually reminding me of Stonehenge, exactly the way it was. <laughs> These are very old, ancient cities of Turkey where the Greeks, Romans, Persians, Suljo, Mumlu, Ottomans, everybody have come to this region and have ruled. It's, it's one of the ancient cities. There is more to Turkey than Istanbul, guys. Legend saying it must have been the reason for the birth of agriculture so they could save the time for worship. So I am going up now. Good morning and assalamu alaikum from Gaziantep. We are just leaving today towards Shanil Urfa and we'll be seeing a few things on the way which I will be taking you along with me. So let's go and guys our car. So our next leg of the journey is gonna be Shanil Urfa from Gazinta which is 1 hour 36 minutes and we will be actually going around it to get to a couple of places before we enter the Shanil Urfa so we are waiting for our car at the moment in the hotel lobby we will be ready to head off and hope we have a good day today it is very warm here quite warm in the south and as we go more towards the east it will be where more Kurdish people are as we said our goodbyes to Gaziantep we left for Gobekli Tap which I will tell you the history about once we get there which is 173 kilometers away and it took us two hours and two minutes to get to it is a cult center situated in the east of Turkey and has said to be the oldest temple found on this earth. So I will be taking you around this archaeologic site where we first go in to buy a ticket and you see the visitor center where you find some information about where you are and what it is about and you can buy your souvenirs and gifts from here. Let's have a look at some gifts, what we can buy from Gobekli Tab or souvenirs to bring back for yourself, for your family. And then I will show you the rest of it. We did end it up buying a cute t-shirt from Gubakli Tab and a little bag which I will be showing you in a bit. The tickets, the tickets were 100 Turkish lira each and four of us it was 400 Turkish lira which turned out to be 20 pounds. It included the visitor center which is a little museum as well as the archaeologic site itself. So let's go to the exhibition center and see what it entails. Hello guys from another region, another city and another site. If you think the pyramids of Egypt or the Stonehenge of England are the oldest sites found on this earth, you are wrong. There's another site which has been found in Turkey is called Gobekli Tap. Gobekli Tap is 3,500 years older than the Stonehenge. I will be taking you along to see this site. It's an old temple which is 15 kilometers from Shanil Urfa and it's on top of a plateau. 
and this is the museum we are in it's like 23,000 to 19,000 BC it's the later ice age it is actually before agriculture was not a thing utensils was not a thing all they used to do is they used to hunt with the weapons made of stone because we are here to see the oldest temple in the world. The Stone Age actually lasted at least 3,500 years and our world is about 4.5 billion years old. And if you see, this site is in the later ice or stone age, if you want to call it. This is the map of no, the no, ice these different age. pointers. They, they, yeah, different, different temples. temples. And they have not actually excavated all the sites yet. There is still more to discover. They are just telling in this museum how it changed from ice age, three periods, towards more of to metal age when agriculture actually was invented. Oh, seal batta. People still use that in Pakistan, you know, to crush things and it's very, very good. This is probably when agriculture came into being and how they used to live. Oh, look at the manji, look at the manji banner. Nobody, nobody actually know what these people used to do and uh, how they lived. All has been uh, discovered is the temple. It's called the cult center. We are in the, the Purdy. We've just been the exhibition center and now we will be going to the site itself. I don't know if it's a walk or if it's a bus which will take us. It is quite warm but breezy. So let's go to the main part. Oh, oh god. Yeah, it's gonna be like this. Yay. Let's see the bag. It's a gobbledygook bag. <laughs> gobbledygook. Go, go, go back tap. Yeah, this site was covered and uh, worked on by the University of Chicago and uh, a university from Turkey has also took part of it. So this place is actually reminding me of Stonehenge. Exactly the way it was. Look at the scenery here, guys. It's a beautiful place. The whole region was actually full of this civilization, I'm going to call it, but even though this civilization wasn't a thing at that very time. And as I was telling you, this must have given birth to civilization and agriculture. The reason being because they have this big massive temple, right? And they were so busy praying and worshipping that they didn't have time to go and hunt for food. So that must have, legend saying, it must have been the reason for the birth of agriculture. So they could save the time for worship. So I am going up now. There it is the place, what we are here to see. What I like about this place is you get information written in English and I think the reason is because the University of Chicago has helped them excavate this place and there is a lot more, like I said, a lot more to discover and a lot of research to do. So whatever stories we are coming up with, they are just through the research. There it is guys, the biggest temple. If you see, like they think these big standing stones, they could be God. And if you look, the inscription, there are animals. They, they have all sorts of animals on it, from cats, dogs, lions, and birds. And they say, 
maybe they were like um, offerings to their gods or maybe that's what they thought gods were those animals who will be protecting them so we are not really sure what it was but it's a massive site and this is world's largest and oldest temple of the civilization even before the Stonehenge or the pyramids I actually love Turkey for this reason Turkey is really really good doing these discoveries excavations and preventing their history they're really good like I read it somewhere where it says Turkey is the world's biggest museum in some ways I think that is correct as well but whichever region you are whichever city you are you will always find find some history there these are very old ancient cities of Turkey where the Greeks Romans Persian Seljo Mumlu Ottomans everybody have come to this region and have ruled it's, it's one of the ancient cities there is more to Turkey than Istanbul guys Guys, this is all from Goblet Tech Cult Center near Shanir Ulfa. And let's go to our next site. Stay tuned. Do not forget to subscribe and share. See you. Bye. Thank you very much for watching. And do not forget to subscribe for more from Southeast Turkey and Uzbekistan coming soon.